Yeah, it's a little better. Oh. Uh, or yeah, or all of it. Oh, uh, no, that's too dark with the background. Okay. Or like that. Well, everyone, if you just have a quick glance behind me, we're finally breaking down the camp at the end of the second annual tour of Karamoja. It's been an amazing two days of racing, bringing together 50 people, I would say mad people, riding mountain bikes up and down the Tepeth Mountains. I'm looking at the Tepeth Mountains right now, and they are the backdrop for what has been a great reunion of people who really enjoy mountain bike riding and cycling. The reason for the event is to bring to the world's attention the Tepeth clan who move up and down these mountains and as they have done for more than a thousand years. But for us it's a question of having a bit of fun and we've actually opened up around about 20 mountain bike trails around here from whether you just want to ride up and down the valley or if you're a mad daredevil you can come down at speeds approaching 60 to 70 kilometers an hour. But it's a fantastic place to be and we had an incredibly entertaining couple of days around the campfire behind me. And then maybe could you just explain the tour of Karamoja, kind of what went yeah. down and okay. like that? Basically what we decided to do was to make it a, a four day event because we're a long, long way from Kampala. In fact, it's a, between a 10 and 12 hour drive to get here. So we planned it over the weekend of Independence Day so people could take an extra day and have a, a bit of fun. It started off with an easy ride that everybody participated in the morning, followed by a variety of options during the afternoon, either another slow, easy, gentle mountain bike ride, a challenging ride up and down the mountains, or some mad fools even rode on the road behind me up to the Kenya border. It was only 54 kilometers, but it took them four hours. Um, what do you think it is about cyclists and cycling in general that, that like, promotes sort of sport? Yeah. I've always said with cycling, it's a very interesting community because it doesn't matter where you go in the world, when you come up and meet fellow cyclists, we're all the same. Just like the Tepeth are the same tribe, the Karamajong are the same tribe, I think we may be the cycling tribe because cycling cuts across all races, all politics, and coming together here, I think, is the reunion maybe of the cycling tribe. Maybe you'd like to come and join us one day. Um, and then how, how important is it that we involve the community for, for all this? Mm. I've always believed it's really important to involve the local community, whether it's involved in the guiding or what we've done here with the Tepeth tribe, because it's actually the Tepeth tribe are the people who have actually been out with us and with our trail cutters to try and help prepare this route. And I think if we're going to make this a, a long lasting event, it's got to be a very special relationship that we have with the local tribe here, the Tepeth. Now, the interesting thing is they were so excited to have us here that on our second evening here, as everyone had prepared to leave to go back to their respective homes, the Tepeth decided to sacrifice a bull. Cool. And, and how, how's the response been from, from the people here? Well, I think if you look at some of the cultural dancing that uh, we had in the evenings, it was very spontaneous. Uh, the local people around here, they wanted to welcome the guests because that's what they regard the visitors who came here and stayed in this campsite as guests of the Tepeth clan. So they very much shared their culture with us. Cool. Um, just one more thing I'm thinking if, um, like, you know, if we're putting this in a video to tell people about next year, could you just maybe mm. say yeah. what they can expect for, for next year? Well, our plans for next year is to do the same event. We're not sure exactly what weekend we'll be able to do it over, but we'd love to have another four day event. So at least you've got two good days of riding. Because after all, not only getting here is a long drive, it's an expedition in itself. So. We'll, we'll announce very shortly what the next couple of days will be, what the dates will be for October of next year. It'll definitely be in October. So we'll have a same similar situation, but the trails will be better, more challenging and faster because we'll be working on it. And so too will the Tepeth. Um, I, I was thinking more like just, you know, if someone's, someone's okay. thinking, oh, what's this all about? Like, you know, there's, there's cycling, there's culture, okay. there's yeah. sort of that. So if you want to come and join us next year, we'll announce the date shortly. It'll be sometime in October, but you want to know what's available? Well, a very, very long, hot drive up through the most beautiful country that Africa still has. If you want to come and join us next year, well, I can just give you a little insight into what is available. First of all, it's a blooming long drive. 
10 to 12 hours, but you will see the most spectacular countryside that Uganda and the continent of Africa has to offer. And when you get here, there's a variety of sport. Riding your mountain bike, easy, hard, challenging. Going for a, a little bit of a hike up to the waterfall, but I promise you it is there sometimes of the year and it can be seasonal. And then of course there's the culture. The Karamajong and the Tepeth culture are so interesting. They've got stories that go back more than a thousand years and you get a chance to share that and share those special moments with them. And of course, after it's all done and dusted, there's a long drive back. But if you're adventurous, don't make it our weekend, go that way. Just four hours away is one of the most beautiful national parks that I think Africa has to offer, Kidepo Valley National Park, where you have the largest herds of buffalo in the whole of the continent, between three and 4,000 strong. And if that doesn't whet your appetite, you can go down to Murchison Falls on the way home. Think about it. Oh, and then one more thing, maybe just the, the camping experience with mm. the showers. And yeah. yeah. It is a camping experience, but I have to say, we have an expression in Africa, any old fool can rough it. So although you have the option of bringing your own camping equipment, we'll provide camping equipment for you. And of course, in the middle of the bush, it's important to have water. So we have hot water, we have hot and cold showers, and we have toilets, and we have the ability to bring you wood, and anything you might need to make your camping experience a glamping experience. Perfect. Thank you. Was that okay? We want me to do it again with more emotion. <laughs>